Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Finally, a video is up and today we are doing a colourful, cruelty-free glam look on the picture that you would have seen in the thumbnail. So this look right here. I am so excited to do this. I've had so many requests to kind of do a whole cruelty-free brand makeup tutorial. And I didn't want to just do like an everyday bronze look that I would usually do. I wanted to incorporate loads and loads of colour. So I really hope you guys appreciate that. I know you love it when I use a bit of colour. So before we get started, it is post notification bell shout out time and this week it goes to Tony Seal that says notification bell on honey and this is a my sort of look love you love you too thank you so much for your comment and thank all of you guys for always giving me such amazing comments it never goes unnoticed but yes if you would like to see what brands and what products I've used to create this I'm not even sure what I'm calling this it's like a I know it's co colorful and cruelty free but there's like sunset vibes on the top teal underneath poppin skin who knows I just know you're gonna love it so Let's keep watching. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and done one eye just because I really had kind of like no idea what I was doing. I did ask you guys on my Instagram to give me color suggestions. So many of you kind of said like sunset, yellow, pink, red, Blah, blah, blah. So I tried to incorporate like all that I can, so that's the kind of thing that we're going for. But like I normally do, I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt out underneath my eyebrow just with the concealer that, I know, that I'm gonna use on my face which is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer I love this not only is it cruelty free brand the coverage is just insane I'm obsessed with it I'm also just gonna use it to prime my eye as well so I'm gonna pop like a bit more on there and just buff that in like so, and I'm not gonna set that because I do want to have a wet base going on, but I am gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows using two shades of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, one in dark brown to do the end of my brow. Like so. I was so happy to see that Anastasia was a cruelty-free brand because I'm obsessed with her brow products and just like her other products in general. And then I'm gonna use medium brown just through the front to create more of a ombre look. You guys know the drill with this kind of stuff. And then feather, feather it through. And just follow where your kind of natural hairs go. And then I just like to use a brush to brush the product through and kind of tidy everything up like so. Then I'm just gonna set everything in place with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, just to make sure these brows ain't going Nowhere. Okay, and now we can move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm going to be taking the Revolution Mischief Matte Eyeshadow Palette. It's literally gorgeous. They're all matte shades and all of like a rainbow nature. So I'm just going to be making my way through the kind of sunset colors. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here. This shade is called New Day and it's like a super vibrant yellow. So I'm just going to be placing that directly into the crease and really buffing it out. We want every color to really stand out because we are going to be cutting up the crease and just buffing it into the crease. Now I know I've done a similar-ish looking look to this before but so many of you guys were asking for it so I thought I'll try and mix up and kind of put a twist on it and also we're not we're not using exactly the same products this time so bear with me. But now I'm going to be dipping my brush into this shade right here. This is the ringleader shade and again just working that back and forth in to our crease to really make this pink pop. And then to blend, we can just pick up our previous brush and just keep building up the color to the intensity that we want. Just like so. Then I'm gonna take a slightly more precise brush and take this shade right here and also mix it in with this purple shade. And then again, just place that right into the crease, inner to outer corner, because we really want the colors to show up. Then I always just go back in with my previous brush just to kind of reinforce the color from before. And then finally, getting fluffy brush just to diffuse everything out. So it creates this gorgeous, pinky sunset vibes that I feel like we all are obsessed with like so. I'm finally just going to take a short shader brush and dip it into this deeper purple here and just kind of orient, like just place it right into our socket line like so and the kind of fluffiness of it helps to buff it in instantly. Then I always like to go back in with the kind of slightly more defining fluffy brush 
just to make sure that that's really blended. I'm just going to take my concealer brush again and just carve out my crease and then we'll be back to do the lid colour. Okay, now that we have carved out the crease, I'm going to be taking this gorgeous eyeshadow from NYX. It is their prismatic eyeshadow in the colour Gilded. It's the most gorgeous yellow gold. And I'm just going to take a flat brush and place this all over that lid space. I love these kind of colours together. They're so just like goddessy and vibrant and sunset-y. <laughs> I always prefer to use a little shader brush to do this just because it means I can get right up into the crease. I'm then going to take, take that vibrant pink shade from the Revolution palette and just use that to diffuse it into the crease colours. Like... So, I think that looks so gorgeous. I'm obsessed! So now I'm going to take another one of the NYX Prismatic Shadows. This is in the colour Glass Slipper. It's like a gorgeous reflective teal. And I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight shade. Another pop of colour. Because this is going to tie in with what we do underneath the eye as well. I'm just going to use a makeup wipe to clean up underneath my eye to give us like a good baseline for when we do eyeliner. And for eyeliner, I am going to use the Revolution, I don't know what it's called, but the Revolution Liquid Eyeliner and then I'll be back because I cannot do this on camera. I always leave my winged eyeliner tutorial down below. It gives you all my useful tips to make it so much easier for yourself. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do liquid eyeliner. Then we will be back for lashes to complete this top eye look. Woo! The struggle is real with eyeliner, I swear. But I'm now just going to apply mascara and I'm going to be using the Hourglass Extreme Caution Mascara. I haven't actually, hadn't actually tried this one yet, but it's so good at lengthening and separating your lashes. But we are going to be wearing falsies today, obvi, but if you guys just have naturally long lashes anyway and don't like falsies, then you should definitely check this one out because it's so good and Hourglass is a cruelty-free brand. You'll be pleased to know. So I've just gone ahead and applied mascara and we are going to be now, like I said, wearing lashes. And these are from Backstage Beauty. They are in the style of Mel Rose Avenue and it does say on the back that they are handmade and cruelty free. So these are in like a faux mink style which I'm obsessed with so I'm going to go ahead and pop them on and then we can move on to the skin. Yay! So these are what the eyes look like with the finished lashes. Please ignore. I feel like this one's going a little bit red. That's just because I've got a bit of shadow in it. And this always happens when I do winged eyeliner. I don't know why. But just to let you know, I'm not stoned and it's not pink eye. So we're good. But now we can move on to the skin. And you guys know that's my favourite part. Oh, okay, so to prime our skin, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Hangover X Primer. I love this one. It's super moisturizing and hydrating on the skin. It's also like coconut based, so it smells really good as well. And you guys know I'm obsessed with products on my face needing to smell good. There's nothing worse than having like something lingering underneath your makeup or like on top of your makeup that just smells bad. So... I'm going to buff this coconutty, cruelty-free goodness into my skin. Once we have done that, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Stick Foundation again. I literally, ever since using this in my Ariana Grande tutorial, I've just like fallen back in love with it. It looks so good in pictures. And it just has the most amazing finish. So now I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and buff that into the skin. Just like so. Okay, now that it's all blended in, I'm going to go back into my Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I've been reaching for this so much recently. I use the shade Warm Beige, just because it really kind of is close to my skin tone. And I've been preferring that recently. Not so much a bright under eye, but something a bit more wearable and subtle. I feel like it looks better in pictures as well, just to have something kind of a little bit lighter, but not too much lighter. And just again, take my Beauty Blender to blend that. I feel like concealer is one of my favourite parts of makeup. I'm not sure why, especially when you've done like a winged look. I feel like it's when everything starts to just look tidy, you know? And then your under eyes are like gone. Everything just starts to come together. Now that is all blended into place, I'm going to be using my Beauty Bakery Translucent Setting Powder to set everything in place. Just get that whole dusting underneath the eye. 
do, do, do. I always just get like really sweaty around my like forehead and my upper lip so I always have to make sure to apply or like concentrate powder in those areas like so and now I keep saying and now I don't know how to transition other than saying and now moving on I'm gonna be taking the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in Coco Cutie oh what a cute night I'm just gonna buff that into my cheeks for a little light bronzing I feel like a bronzer is one of my favorite parts as well. I feel like shape starts to come back into my face and Lord knows that I need it. So we can now go to a blusher and this is the Bare Minerals Blusher in Gen Nude and this is Bellini Brunch. It's the most gorgeous peachy blusher shade. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know why I don't use it more often. And I feel like the peachy colors just kind of tie in with Wagwan on the eyes. So it's gonna be... I don't know why I put it on my forehead, but I feel like it looks good. So we'll roll with that one. Now I'm gonna highlight my skin using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Go in Oyster, which I've never actually used before. It's got a slightly more pink, pinker undertone. So I'm just gonna take my brush and buff that onto my cheekbones. Ooh, I wanted to go for something a bit more like pearly and pink today. Again, like I said, to tie in with the eyes, but we are going to be going in with a powder highlighter on top. As you guys know, this is my favorite method to making the most out of your highlighter. And these liquid glows from Anastasia blend so nicely on top of your skin makeup. Can you see? That just like blends into the skin. And now for the final highlighter, I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is their ultimate glow kit. I haven't used this in ages, but look at it. Oh, maybe don't look at it. It is definitely well loved. So I'm gonna take the color White Sand, which is this middle, middle gold shade here, and just buff that on to the top to really make it pop. <laughs> You don't need to tell me I'm a poet because you know what? I actually know it. I'm gonna do my cupid flow and down at the bridge of my nose. Yes, skin. Mm. Oh! Now to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna be taking the Marc Jacobs highlighter in Pop Eula, and it's this gorgeous matte pink shade. I'm gonna run this all in my waterline. Oh, that's like impossible to get the angle of that filmed on camera. And I feel like my eyes are gonna be so watery in a minute, and I'm now gonna take a mixture of the blue and the green from the Revolution palette just to match up with the turquoise that we put in the inner corner. A blue lower lash line going on, kind of the green inner corner and the sunset vibes on the top. I'm just gonna reimburse that inner corner color just to make sure that it really is, you know, popping and it's standing out and none of it's kind of got lost like so. I'm just going to pop on a little bit of bottom lash and mascara and then we can be back for the lips. Okay so these are the eyes finished. I am like obsessed. It's almost like a whole rainbow is going on on my eyes. So now I'm going to go ahead and do lips. I'm going to take the OCC lip liner in a trick. It's like that perfect mid-tone nude color that goes with everything. I'm now going to take my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Stripped and it's literally I got to run out. I'm not kidding. You could totally do a bright lip with this look, but I just feel like there's so much color going on. It's like the perfect nude, but I am gonna be applying this lip gloss. This is from Buxom in the color Kayla. It's like a gorgeous look. It kind of goes with my nails. Sparkly pink shade. And I'm just gonna use this to go on the top because the gold like sparkles in it are just calling for this look. So this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it using all cruelty free brands Which I've seen a lot of requests for recently So I thought I would do something a little more colorful just to show you the kind of lips you can do with these brands And I was actually surprised at how many there are which is amazing So thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys Thank you.